Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough of how I go about drawing roses. Now, it's not going to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial per se, but I'm going to show you guys basically how I go about drawing roses, and you'll actually get to see me draw a rose in real time. So, let's just get right into it. Alright, so let's get started. Here I just have a blank piece of paper and I have my graphite pencil, mechanical pencil here, and I am just going to go ahead and sketch out a rose. Now usually when I do this, um, there's I'm not going to be like, uh, like step by step. Usually I'm kind of more go with the flow on this. So I'm just going to show you basically how I go about doing this. Um, and basically what I, I usually end up doing is I go ahead and start with a kind of sort of in the middle of it and I kind of make a line similar to this. If you guys can see that, just sort of an upturning sort of line. Uh, and basically this is going to be about the middle of the rose here. Now, something that you want to pay attention to when you're drawing roses is to not make them too flat. Um, you want to make sure that, at least how I particularly draw them, how I notice, is that the leaves uh, or the petals kind of fold over. So basically when I'm drawing these little petals, I want to make them look as if they're sort of folded over a little bit as they sort of curl inwards to the center of the rose because that's kind of what roses do they sort of turn inward towards each other so I just go ahead and like if you can envision this this will be the sort of petal shape and this is sort of the tip of the petal kind of like uh, turning over a little bit so this is basically just how I start and now like I said roses kind of go um, they kind of go towards the center they kind of are like this and they sort of like spread out as they as they grow so you just sort of want to keep in mind the center of the rose and just sort of form um, petals around it now like I said I'm kind of pretty random about this I just go ahead and uh, just draw them however I see fit I don't really put too much thought into it, just sort of make it um, pretty uh, pretty random here. And just basically just layering petals upon petals. Uh, it's, it's not too difficult, honestly. Um, I know that a lot of people say they struggle with drawing roses. Um, I don't think it's that difficult. Uh, you just go ahead, like I said, just sort of, um, it might look kind of weird in the beginning, um, but it will definitely uh, look better as you do it. Um, and then once you get into here to this like center part, you just sort of want to kind of like overlap lines until you get to the very, very center there. So if you can envision that, that's kind of like the center of the rose. Now, I always pretty much do this. So I'll start with the middle of it and then sort of fill to the um, center and then uh, go on the outside. So for the outside, basically, I just sort of do the exact same thing, only... I usually tend to make the petals like fall out a bit more, like here they're more tightly curled against the center, but here as they're starting to come out, uh, I just sort of make them a little bit uh, more open. Just go ahead and, again, you don't have to be like perfect about this, just sort of go ahead and uh, whatever you think feels right with the petals here. Just sort of go with whatever you think looks best and uh, just drawing some petals. And again, like I said, keep in mind, the most important thing to remember uh, is to keep in mind the shape of the petals and how they sort of fall um, as it opens up the rows. So, I think I'm almost about done here. And make these little indication lines here too, that sort of like it shows you like what direction the um, petal is sort of wrapping, like it would be on this side and sort of wrapping around a little bit. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute, but let me finish this little sketch up here. Take a second. Another thing that you can do also is sort of make these petals kind of curve on the outside a little bit, like that, so you can kind of see them curl up like around it, uh, which I think is looks pretty nice too. And yeah, just go ahead and add a few more little petals, and that is pretty much it. 
Now that does look pretty silly now, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, strengthen some of these lines up and just refine a few lines and then you'll see uh, what it looks like more finalized. So I'll be right back. All right, so here you can see that I've basically just gone in here and uh, darkened up some of the areas in my sketch that would be sort of obstructed or hidden by light. As these petals sort of like fold in to each other, um, it gets a bit darker as it's in towards uh, the center because of course light wouldn't really be hitting that. So I am going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a basic uh, idea of how would you go about shading this because they do look kind of weird when you're first sketching them out. But once you get a little bit of shading in there it will make a lot more sense. So just in these little areas, uh, especially where the, le like the little petals fold, um, you just want to make them uh, a bit darker in these little creases because again this is where light is not going to be getting into the rows and also the center part here um, would not really be getting much light. And I'm going to do this pretty fast because I don't, uh, this is not a shading tutorial so <laughs> I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, but basically just going ahead in here and shading these areas that would be kind of obstructed by the light a bit because the petals as they sort of fall over the rows they will obstruct a bit of light and as they sort of curve inward here uh, too they also do that. So just going to go ahead and shade these little areas. See that where I made this sort of darker line, that's basically an indication for me to know that, okay, that area is sort of, is sort of hidden. It's, uh, it's sort of curved. And I made that line a bit darker so I know that that's an area that would fall into shadow. So I wanna go ahead and make sure that I shade that accordingly. Now, of course, this applies basically to any media that you'd be using. Um, it's not just for pencil that you do the same thing, you'd pretty much do the exact same process for uh, any media, of course. So, uh, but that's basically, basically it. Just go ahead, like I said, I'm doing this really fast, sorry, it's not very perfect. Um, but yes, just going ahead and shading these areas. So hopefully you can sort of get to see how that looks a bit more like a rose now. Isn't that spiffy? Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm so lame. Oh jeez. But yes. So you can pretty much see that that's basically um, what you do uh, for that. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few little tips um, on drawing some roses in some different angles and also some little tips that you can use uh, that you want to avoid when drawing them too that uh, I, I see quite a lot as mistakes go. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that right now. All right, and now I'm going to get into a few ways to go ahead and draw rose petals, because I know that's probably the hardest thing, that might be the most difficult thing to understand, as to how to go about drawing them. And, you know, while this is not, there's no really, like, step-by-step -step way that I can explain drawing roses, I will go ahead and show you a few ways you can go ahead and draw some petals. So basically, I'm just going to be drawing a few petals here, and this is going to be pretty fast, um, because I don't want to waste your guys' time uh, watching me nonsensically draw here. Um, so this petal is basically going to be one that's kind of flat facing towards us. Um, this one could be like wrapping around on the side, uh, similar to, can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Uh, similar to something like this, just a little bit curved, which would be sort of, again, more of tightly wrapping around the side. And then let's go ahead and make one that's sort of pointing to the side, wrapping around a little bit on the outside, and then let's go ahead, can you guys see this? Yes you can, and making another one that's sort of wrapping around more sort of leaves, and I guess we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. I don't want to block the view, Ugh. sort of do a similar thing on the other side. So there's a few ways you can go ahead and uh, draw some rose petals. Now, seriously, guys, uh, don't don't do don't do stuff like this. Don't 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 do this. Please please don't do that. 
<laughs> don't don't do things like this. Uh, it looks a bit unnatural. Now, as you can see, this is uh, usually how I go about sketching. Um, it's a really good uh, way to go about sketching rose petals um, is to just sort of like guide your pencil. Again, let me just go ahead and just do that same little bottom petal. You just sort of want to like guide your pen pencil and just sort of do tiny little strokes. Um, just be very light about your hand. Um, don't, don't, seriously, do not put lots of pressure because you can see, if I'm going to break my lid, you're going to get like these really hard, harsh lines that don't really look uh, quite as nice. You can always go ahead and darken your lines later, um, but just make sure that you sketch very lightly. Um, of course, roses, they are natural fluid forms. They're part of nature, so you just want to um, sort of uh, hold your pencil very lightly and sort of feel that sort of nature, light, earthy essence course through your artist hands. Ah. <laughs> but yes, be very light with your pencil and uh, it should be just fine. All right, so here you can see that I have three other roses here, and I'm going to talk about each of them. Now, I've drawn them all purposefully in a uh, different amount of, um, like, detail. Uh, this one over here is, as you can see, it's just a basic sketch. Um, this is actually a real-life picture. It's a real-life uh, referenced rose, and that's just a basic sketch. Down here, I have a sort of, like, bud-like rose, like one that's just sort of, just, like, sort of open up. Um, and uh, that's this one is a little bit like more refined in the lines, making some of these a bit darker uh, where they need to be, where the shadow would be. And over here, this is a rose looking from above. Uh, and then, of course, this is uh, very like highly shaded and stuff like that. Um, so here you can have like a f different uh, feel for roses and some different perspectives and how they look um, as they're sort of going through the process of drawing them. Now, when you first do a sketch, like I said, it doesn't always look very pretty. It can look kind of odd and weird and these random little shapes, and it does look very different and odd. But um, as you start to sort of like refine lines, and then of course as you go to shade them, they will make a lot more sense. So uh, now I'm going to get into how you can uh, avoid drawing roses. Uh, uh, how you definitely do not want to draw them. <laughs> All right, so here you can see that I have two very awful examples of roses. Now, I'm not even going to lie, I actually used to, when I first started drawing, I used to draw roses like this, so I'm not picking on anyone in particular other than myself. <laughs> Um, and the reason why these are, uh, it's not a very good idea to draw roses like this, uh, is because, of course, uh, it's not very realistic, and, um, not that anime is a particularly realistic style, but, uh, of course, as always, you do want to put a certain amount of realism into whatever you draw, um, and now, the reason why I don't particularly say that you should draw roses like this, for one, let's just look at this one over here. Um, there's no sort of like um, curving, like curvature of the petals. They all sort of just fall flat. And if you look at real roses, sometimes the petals will sort of, like I said, curve inward. Um, and they'll sort of make these like, uh, like this, sort of, they just go ahead and draw one right here. And they sort of curve inward a little bit like that sometimes. They sort of wrap around the rose. Um, of course, as it will open up, it starts to, um, you know, it starts to look a bit more open, of course, as it opens up. But the petals, they still don't quite look like this. This quite uh, as flat, especially in the center here. Make sure that when you're drawing the center of roses, that you don't draw it completely flat. Now, as for this one over here, uh, I see a lot of cartoon stylized roses that are drawn this way. And this is supposed to be like a rose bud. And while it can look all right in cartoons, uh, you definitely do not want to be drawing roses like this if you're trying to go for a more realistic approach um, and the reason being is because um, roses don't form like this this sort of uh, it kind of makes me think of a burrito um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, it just doesn't look all that realistic so try to avoid those if possible All right, and now you can see that I have that line art of that picture that I'm working on right now that has a ton of roses in it. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and show you around the edge of this drawing and go ahead and show you all the different um, roses that I've drawn uh, in this particular drawing. And you can go ahead and see that I've... Uh, the different like sort of petal shapes and styles and whatnot that I've gone ahead and used, as you can see along the edge here. 
different sort of petal shapes and styles and whatnot uh, and angles for the roses that you can see that I've used here just to give you guys a bit more um, ideas uh, for how to go about drawing some roses. So hopefully that will help you guys too and if you guys can just see this line art closer up if you guys wanted to. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So just to give you guys a bit more um, bit more of a view of how I draw roses. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up uh, basically my little explanation of how I go about drawing roses. Now, of course, there's a certain amount of stylistic preference that I put into them, so I wouldn't necessarily say that they're 100% realistic. Um, but even so, uh, you guys have been requesting that I show you guys uh, basically how I go about doing uh, that. So. I hope that was informative. I hope it helped. It's kind of hard because honestly, I don't really have much of a process. I just sort of start in the middle and make petals until it looks like a rose. <laughs> but either way, I hope it was helpful to you guys. Um, thank you guys, of course, so much for watching. Um, you're the best. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye.